All right, all right. Got some more Niji news. Let's check it out. So any color, the parent company behind Niji Sanji recently had a little interview with Logmi Finance talking okay. about their sales. And due okay. to this Q&A slash interview, some people are starting to believe that Niji Sanji fans and JP are losing interest in Niji Ian solely based on some of the things said in this interview. Now, I'm not going to read this entire thing as it's very long and has a lot of corporate um, I hope they are not strictly going based off sales of rep, uh, sales of merchandise, bro. Sales of merchandise sure can have some type of uh, perception onto what people actually enjoy. But bro, money is tight nowadays. We are in a recession. We like in America anyways, America's in a recession and a lot of the world has been inflated due to COVID. Like, it's no surprise some people don't have extra money to buy figures, bro. You definitely should not say, oh, uh, people aren't as interested. Like, yeah, sure, some people might not be as interested as like back because VTubing blew up because of the pandemic. People were, were inside watching, right? So it makes sense that sales were going crazy. Bro, people are gone back to real life on top of uh, inflation, on top of a, re a recession. Of course, sales are going to go down. Like you cannot really like the same. This is like the same people that say Twitch is dying when Twitch really blew up like crazy because of the pandemic. Of course, the numbers are going to go down. And the only way to see an actual line on what's good and what's going up and what's going down is to wait until like 2027. OK, from like 2023 to 2027 is when you can really see, OK, what's going good, what's going because like we're in the down times right now, bro. The economy could definitely bounce back in like the next two to three years, like give or take what goes on across the world. So hopefully they're not using just sales. They should definitely also look at numbers of like who's watching the streams, who's watching videos, who's watching VODs, um, participation in the community, uh, fan projects, who's making fan art. Um, you know, who's making the thumbnails for the livers? Like, you should definitely look at this more than just sales of merch because a lot of shows people enjoyed growing up. This was the same thing back in like the early days of like Cartoon Network, Toonami. Like, if they didn't get merch sales, your show was cut no matter how good it was. And a lot of great shows got cut due to low merch sales. Or, oh, hey, this is a this is a a show made for girls you know girls aren't buying it so let's get rid of it when girls and boys both like it you know or hey girls are buying it but boys aren't so let's get rid of the show because we're trying to market towards boys only like this type of a perception onto what's good and what's bad is definitely not one-to-one -to, -one to reality speak i am just going to read a lot of the important bits that people are talking about if you do wish to read this entire report i will leave it down below and i do encourage you to do so as it is an interesting read also this is translated via google translate so, so it's not 100 percent off a bit but we had mr google Shin translate Mr. is saying, pretty bad director and cfo i would like to explain the financial highlights for the first quarter first of all sales were 8948 million yen an increase of 50.9 percent compared to the same that's good of the previous year and that's actually really good because yeah like like i said the pandemic the so if the numbers are still going up even after the pandemic that's good income was 4044 million yen an increase of 90.5 percent compared to the holy same period moly of the dude 90 percent increase the financial results were very good compared to the same of period course. last year the growth potential continues to be high and it can be said that the initial plan has exceeded expectations they then state that they will look at sales and stuff individually first let's right. Talk about Niji Sanji, a VTuber group operating in Japan. Non consolidated sales of Niji Sanji were 7,447 million yen, an increase of 80.7% compared to that same period last 80 year. 80% is crazy. Unit production measures. Quote In the first quarter, existing VTuber units such as yeah. Ron Air and Roth. I mean, that makes sense. Like, yeah, if you're, if you create more units and you sell more, like, yeah, of course, like, it, the scalpers aren't going to get to it. Yeah. Unit production measures. Quote In the first quarter, Quarter, existing VTuber units such as Cron Air and Roth Mal, as well as the unit Volt Action like that they Mal used last Volt year, action. mainly contributed to revenue. I believe that the positive reception of these unit measures by fans is a major factor in our recent growth. In addition, Niji Sanji is a large VTuber group with over 100 members, and the over measures taken by the group have been well received. Ray, which achieved the highest sales ever for a single product. In addition, every 
summer, members of Niji Sanji participate in a project called Niji Sanji Koshien, and this year we have been selling related goods and sales have been very strong. And now we get into one of the biggest things that people are talking about, with them saying, quote, on the other hand, Niji Sanji Ian is off to a rather difficult start, with sales down 16.3% compared to the same period last year. I th I think there are two reasons behind this. Okay. First, there is a presence or absence of large scale measures by the unit Luxium of Niji Sanji Ien. In the first quarter of last year, we sold half anniversary goods to commemorate the six months since Luxium's debut. This half anniversary goods was a very well received measure among past measures, but due to the nature of the measure, this measure was unique to the timing of half a year after the debut, and similar large scale measures were carried out in the same first quarter. I think this is one of the major differences from the the same period last year. In addition, Niji Sanji Ian is a group that honestly I don't even know how to take that. Like, okay, so they had the half anniversary sale, people bought it, and then they're trying to figure out measurements like there it sounds like they're using like a small amount of time to try and figure out what's actually working and what's not. Like they say large scale measures. Like what does that mean? Are they constantly releasing merch? Like if you're constantly releasing merch, there's only so much people can buy. Like Collectors are abundant, sure, but collectors are only one part. They're whales, right? So whales have the money. They will buy everything. But what about everybody else? Not everybody can get these goods. This is one of so the I, don't, I don't know, from the especially in a short year. In addition, a short time Sanji frame. is a group that conducts distribution activities in English, mainly by distributors living in English speaking countries. But the goods purchased are not only from overseas, but also from within Japan. Specifically, in terms of viewing time, just under 90% of the time is spent overseas. But in the commerce area, there is also a certain amount of consumption from within Japan. They continue to say, Sounds like they should we spread that out. That spending from Niji Sanji Ian fans in Japan is flowing toward Niji Sanji in Japan. I think of course. this is one of the reasons why Niji Sanji is doing well, and I think it is also a reason why the numbers for Niji Sanji Ian have stabilized a little. Based on yeah. these two backgrounds, Niji yeah. Sanji Ian will work to expand its fan base, mainly among people living overseas. And just a little bit down in their- I mean, like, based off- I mean, it, this is what it sounds like, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, a lot of what he's saying is uh, people in Japan are buying Niji Sanji merch within Japan. People from outside of Japan are buying Niji Sanji merch, um, but the EN merch isn't selling as well, bro. But I mean, if all the EN merch is also coming for Japan, from Japan, like trying to buy something overseas is more expensive than if it was in your area. So if anything, you would have to open up more shops, like partner with somebody that's already distributing within the, the United States, like Bandai, um, Bandai Namco, they have they have stores and stuff like that all over that are like mainly towards um, figurines and figures and stuff like that. That would be like the best way, like whatever can make it cheaper for shipping is most likely what people are going to do. Because if I am a big fan of uh, Selen Totsky, I see a Selen Totsky figurine for $20. OK, $20. I click on it and then shipping extra 20 bucks i'm gonna be less inclined because i'm throwing away 20 dollars for shipping so if it was in the area like if it was like 12 dollars for shipping that's way better than another 20 so that's like i would say that would be a big a big way to to help the sales it expand its fan base mainly among people living overseas and just a little bit down in their sales trends they do again mention that they are aiming to expand numbers of overseas fans by continuing to debut new vtubers and expanding the support system for existing vtubers for niji sanji en how do you do that how do you do that you got to hire more staff you're gonna have to hire more management and how are you gonna vet all these people Bro, we've already I've already seen the video by Depressed Nosaji on how Niji Sanji over expanded really fast and all the inside issues that originally Niji Sanji had, right? With India and all that. All of this stuff is no longer that big an issue because they have slowed down on releasing new uh livers and waves. If you continue to add more waves of people, you're gonna need to hire more management. Because not hiring more management just makes it more stressful for the management. And if it's stressful for the management, guess how stressful it is for the talent when it seems like, hey, I have this great idea and you send it to the manager and the manager doesn't respond for like three days because they're busy dealing with other people. So 
If you hire more libraries, I don't think that's a great idea. I think that's a band-aid on the situation because like, yeah, you're going to get the initial wave of, oh, my God, a new wave. Oh, my God, let's look. And like maybe they are amazing. But it seems like they're trying to capture that lightning in a bottle twice when it comes to Lexium. Lexium was a, a breakthrough for male VTubing. But how do you do that again? Honestly, I don't think you really can. What you can do is take care of the ones you have now and boost them up. Whatever projects they're doing, try and like put more into it. Get some collabs in there. That will be, I think, the best way to actually grow. Because trying to introduce new people left and right, there's only so much love that can go around. If I'm an if I'm an alo peep and I'm a uh, I ain't gonna lie, I don't really um, I'm a I'm a, sh a sheeple uh, from Folger's group. If I'm a sheeple and a, a alo peep, okay, in a streaming Folger streaming, damn, I can't be in two streams at once. Like, sure, you can have two tabs open, but you cannot watch and enjoy both streams at the exact same time. That is not a thing, my guy. So for you to introduce more people, oh, wow, I like this new guy, Vantacro Bringer. Okay, now I have Vantacro, Bulger, and Anna Alouette. This is amazing. Um, but how do I even balance it? Because Anna just ended her stream, Vantacro just started his, and Bulger's still going with his. Okay, I can watch this one. Oh, let's introduce a new liver. Okay, Yuki Wilson. Let's pretend he wasn't in the same gen. Oh, wow, Yuki Wilson's in this gen now. Oh, wait, now Anna's streaming, Yuki's streaming. Vulgar streaming, Fantacro streaming. It's not how it works. If you're going to, you, you can't do that. You got to just capitalize on what you have now to grow. That's all you can do, man. They it do just doesn't make sense. State that Niji Sanji Ian's numbers are stable compared to the same period last year. That's good. Stable is good, but they want growth. The numbers of VTubers and any color ID. Where it says there is the status of the number of VTubers and any color ID. First, regarding the number of VTubers, Niji Sanji has decreased by two people compared to the previous quarter. This is okay. because while two VTubers graduated in the first quarter, there were no new debuts. At Niji Sanji Ian, there were three new debuts and one graduate in the first quarter, resulting in a net increase of two people. In terms of debuting as a VTuber, we have a system in place where we conduct pre-debut education and okay. training activities at the Virtual Talent Academy Good. before making a debut. As Good. we reported in a recent press release, we are currently reviewing our system to strengthen compliance with information management and other aspects of the Virtual Talent Academy. How I don't know how the Virtual Talent Academy goes, and I'm sure they signed NDAs not to talk about how it goes, but it's going to be very interesting trying to create at this like right now it still seems like you know people are getting in just based off how they they perform but if it gets too crazy i can see how ceos would be more strenuous because honestly i don't honestly bro i'm gonna keep it a buck with you if i was the ceo of niji sanji i would not want another mr rias bro i would not want anybody doing all that crazy stuff. now me kun sean as the reactor watching it I think it's fucking awesome. It's perfect. I love it. But as a CEO, you definitely don't want that 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 bad press of, oh, he said something crazy on Twitter. Now we got to graduate him. You know, they want <sighs> right now. It seems like they're, they're doing fine, but I could definitely see if investors are like, OK, we're stable, but I want growth. Put out more livers like they have the money they have the like. They have to do what the investors say unless they go unless they go private and going private. It's like that's probably not a that's not even an option. Right. Uh, I could see them definitely cracking down on the VTA and saying, hey, we want it to be more strict, more squeaky clean, uh, less, you know, unhinged. Right. And at the same time, like, yeah, it sounds good on paper, but Nietzsche is known for the unhinged and the chaotic. So what happens when you introduce a squeaky clean person um, into a place like uh, Niji Sanji EN? You know, they might not gel together that well. If they're not gelling together, their collabs aren't going to really be popping off if they do decide to collab anyway. Um, unless you get rid of the people you have that are unhinged, that would be the only way. And I don't advise that personally because... The unhingedness is what, you know, personally led me into Niji Sanji, but I'm pretty sure, I mean, you have that people that love the unhinged stuff, mostly because it's it's funny and it's enjoyable and it's different from, you know, some other companies that might be more squeaky clean. You know, it it's different. 
right? This is how Niji Sanji stands out by being unhinged. So if you just introduce squeaky clean people, now you're just like the next company. But this company has already been squeaky clean for the longest. Why would they switch off what they have to go to you? I don't know, man. However, we do not believe that this will happen. These are these are all just speculations by me, by the way. Like, uh, I'm not a CEO. I'm not a business manager. I'm just, you know, going off of what I think would, what I think is going on. Impact on the plans for debuts that were anticipated at the beginning of the fiscal year. Additionally, the number of any color ID shows a steady influx of new fans. At the end of the That's good. order, we had over one million accounts. And now we get into the actual Q and A. Are they active accounts? Questions, and I will not be reading all of the questions again. If you want to, the link is down below. I'm only going to be reading some of the important ones and the ones that people are mostly talking about. If you guys are actually really interested in this, I will read this entire thing on stream in a couple of days if you would like but do not make this video like an hour long i'm just going to be reading the stuff that people are mostly talking about on twitter Bro, i'm already on my way to making this an hour long the first question where they said my question is i have the impression that the first quarter far exceeded internal expectations please tell me your opinion with them responding we believe that niji sanji is experiencing strong growth centered on commerce and we will continue to work towards achieving our full year forecast regarding okay. niji sanji ian we aim to achieve further business growth by firmly working to business strengthen growth. content production and expand profit opportunities. They right. then ask a question regarding language issues in Niji Sanji Ian, saying Japanese fans are shifting from Niji Sanji Ian to Niji Sanji. Why is language not a barrier for Japanese fans when watching Niji Sanji Ian? With the response being both Niji Sanji Ian and Niji Sanji put a lot of effort into music content. It is also content that can be enjoyed non-verbally, so we believe that this aspect is a factor in why fans from various language areas can enjoy it. However, from a slightly longer term perspective, it is still important to match the language that viewers use on a daily basis. Therefore, we I believe agree. that Niji Sanji Ian needs to focus on expanding its overseas fan base. Wait, what? Wait, wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? It is still important to match the language that viewers use on a daily basis. Therefore, we believe Ian needs to focus on expanding its overseas fan base. Wait, what? Match the language that viewers use on a... So they want them to speak Japanese in their stream? I mean, they can do it. The people that can speak Japanese can definitely do that. Sure. But how would you do that for like a stream? How do you how do you balance it? Like for music, understand it. Like literally nine times out of 10, whoever drops a song in Niji Sanji and it's going to be a Japanese song. Nine times out of 10 on top of that, if it's a cover, it's a cover of a Japanese song. Most likely the only way it's English is if it's an original or it's a karaoke that gets unarchived. Right. So. I'm not too sure how that's going to work as a liver, as a content creator. If they were to make videos instead of just going live and people clip it and make those videos, then we got something there. Then we got something. They then said regarding the progress of Nichi Sanji Yin, please tell us how Nichi Sanji Yin is progressing compared to the initial plan, with them saying, although the breakdown of Nichi Sanji and Nichi Sanji Yin and the initial plan has not been explicitly determined internally, if we compare the initial forecast for Nichi Sanji Yin based on internal assumptions and the first quarter results, Nichi Sanji Yin is also making positive progress. They That's then asked like a question about the recovery of Nichi Sanji Yin. They ask, it seems that commerce for Nichi Sanji Yin is struggling, but will Nichi Sanji continue to be the main growth driver rather than niji sanji in with them responding this why would it be a rather why not have both why is it why is it a rather like should em be making more money than jp bro just focus on the sales like entirely like sure en might be slowing down but how are sales overall are sales overall good great this is really about vtuber content but if you look at the japanese anime content market it's about 50 50 in terms of domestic consumption and overseas consumption i think we can aim for a similar ratio in the vtuber field as well of course we consider both to be important no drivers of growth it's gonna be difficult long term but... we would like to aim for niji sanji and to grow to the same level as niji sanji i mean could they do that i don't know i really don't know um because niji sanji like JP, they have like a like hundred something people, bro. Like Niji Sanji Ian has 30. And like, I don't, dude, I don't know. Like logistically, bro, it just, 
it's a headache, honestly. And I, it's not even my job to figure and it now, out. And so now one of the they, biggest they things that people it. are talking about I'm regarding the movement of fans from Niji Sanji Ian to Niji Sanji. You said that mm. the Japanese fans of Niji Sanji Ian moved to Niji Sanji. Does that mm. mean that the quality of the fans was transferred from commerce goods for Niji Sanji Ian to domestic commerce? With their response being, first of all, that's how I understand the numbers. Niji Sanji Ian was created when we started a new VTuber group and wanted to create content that could reach both the existing Niji Sanji fans and a new fan base. As that a result of the success, of we were able to launch a Niji Sanji Ian. Yeah. Niji Sanji Ian has both domestic fans and overseas fans. That I is true. Many that domestic is true. Fans among them who have never seen Niji Sanji and learned about it from Niji Sanji Ian. I yeah, because due to the collabs, like, yeah, first thing I watched was Ian. I didn't even know there was separated Ian, JP. I didn't know. I, first thing I saw was Pomu Rainpuff telling Finana. You know, <laughs> she was saying some foul language and I was like, yo, that's funny. I like it. And, I, and I, that's when I hopped on the train. Right. Um, but then, of course, you know, due to collabs, I met Oliver. You know, I, I've seen uh, uh, Kazuha, you know, all these other JP people I learned from collabs and listening to the music. So and like through the community as a whole, sharing them with me, you know, it wasn't all just Ed with collabs. It was you, the fan base, you watching this video. When you guys, you know, join the Discord and you put like the video to request and I watch it, I become a fan like through you. You guys help me become bigger and that's how communities grow. So I definitely think they should look at that as well. Look at the community aspect. Don't just look at the livers. The livers can only do so much. It's up to the fan base to either, you know, share it, create something new or let it all go entirely, right? I see a lot of, uh, you know, clips coming from everywhere now that I've requested it. But in the beginning of doing this reaction to Niji Sanji, all I saw was Luka Kaneshiro and an alouette. Uh, Mr. Mr. Rias. Ike Evelyn, like all of Luxium, basically. All of Luxium plus an alouette. And that's about it. That's about it, right? And then I said, hey, let's check out more people. I want to see a Hex Haywire. I want to see a Finana. I want to see a Selen Totsky. Now we get more Selen clips coming in. Thank you, guys. Now we got some Hex Haywire clips, Hex Haywire clip collection, hopefully coming soon. We do need some more clips, though, before I can really launch that uh, video. But yeah, it's they should also look at the community aspect. I, I hope they talk about that. I believe the trend is occurring where such people are becoming interested in Niji Sanji and are thinking, let's take a look at the domestic version as well. Since we have two yeah. groups, Niji Sanji and Niji Sanji Ian, I believe that depending on the timing, fan interest can circulate in both directions. And the area they can, 100%. As well, we believe that domestic people who were originally fans of Niji Sanji Ian are now interested in Niji Sanji and are purchasing it. And so yeah, as I said, that's not the whole article. And again, I will probably read this on stream in a couple of days or a week or so. So, but if you want to read it on your own, you can down below. But let's get into what some people are saying with Ava Punk saying, you know, normally I shut up about this stuff, but the reason your merch sales for an EN is down is because English markets work way differently than it does in Japan or even Asia as a whole. We won't pay extra shipping for merch unless the merch is really, really good. I literally said that earlier. That is a hundred percent correct. If I see $20 for Selin Totsky, Cool. I click shipping and it's another $20. Immediately, it's the value is decreased just based off the price because my expectations are higher than this figurine. I love Celine, but I don't love her enough to spend an extra 20 bucks to get her little figure. Like seriously, they need, need to, more people who understand yes. marketing in foreign countries outside of Asia because damn. And for real, they need to buy warehouses or have manufacturers yes. in America to yes. ship merch more easily to this side of the world. Literally. I don't know how costly that would be, but at the very least, maybe shipping in bulk to a large warehouse in an A from a That's way better Asia shipping in bulk. Not be as bad as shipping individually. Of orders. course. Maybe it's not feasible. Of course. For merch. I don't know. Just feels like they aren't doing much. And for God's yeah, sake, for limited, the quality yeah. of your merch has to be good if yes, I yes. don't extra shipping. Yes. Like acrylic stands, keychains, those god awful t shirts, and anything that's gotcha is not going to cut it. If you want us to buy more, give us something better to spend our money on. Ava Pog 333. 
You are exactly right. And like last week, we talked about low quality merch that fans were really upset at. So if you want to check out yes, that video, the merch was low quality. This first and once people find out the merch is low quality, people aren't going to want to pay these extra these extra prices. And Roku said, "Gee, I wonder why sales are down." And their screenshot shows how expensive the t yes we talked about in the last video was, and the shipping price. Dude, your shipping is crazy expensive. Another one says, yeah, is anyone really surprised Niji Yen merch sales are down? The livers probably make 1% off the sales, shipping costs are crazy expensive, and the actual yes. designs are mid yes. at best. Yes, yes, that, that goes a long way. When you hear shit like livers only get 1% of sales, that makes people not really, because when you buy merch, you're supporting the person you're buying the merch from. But if I find out they only get 1%, I don't like, you know, big corporations, you know, I'm not saying like me specifically, but like people don't really like big corporations. They like the individual like several times I have seen in the comment section. I don't like Niji Sanji, but I like the livers or I don't care about Niji Sanji, but I think the livers are really cool. Yes, they want to support the, the people working there. They don't care about any color. If everybody from Niji Sanji EN left and started their own thing, everybody would leave. Nobody cares about any color. People care about the livers. So if you're telling me my $40 purchase, right? Plus $20 shipping, $60 overall, and they only get 1%. I'm gonna pay extra so they can get a little bit more of the crumb. It just doesn't make sense. I've seen some cool stuff, but it's priced crazy high plus shipping. Yeah, no thanks. We're good. And then we had Chris saying, LMAO, so according to the article, Niji EN sales were down because Japanese Niji EN fans decided to shift interest to the main Niji branch, implying Niji EN is a bridge for JP people to discover Niji. It's Google translated, but I'm pretty sure the overall idea was delivered. It's not wrong, but I mean, that's literally the same thing. Whenever they collab, it's the same thing. Niji, JP is a bridge for EN whenever we see a Pomu and an Oliver collab. When Oliver says, yeah, this is Pomu, my Kohai, she's really awesome. People from JP are gonna go flock to Pomu. Yes, that bridge does work and it exists for both sides. It's not just EN to JP, it works both ways. And Chris shares screenshots from the regarding movement of fans from Niji Sanji Ian to Niji Sanji that we read and also highlighted where they said currently we believe that spending from Niji Sanji Ian fans in Japan is flowing toward Niji Sanji in Japan. I think this is one of the reasons why Niji Sanji is doing so well and I think it is also a reason why the numbers for Niji Sanji Ian have stabilized a little. This got responses saying to be fair Luxium was massive. They were getting merch drops left and right. If Niji has the same issue other JP based agencies overseas bros don't feel like overcoming the shipping barrier paying at least the cost of the item for shipping is a turn off 100 another says i guess the fans even half the talents make basically no money off of the merch really hurt their bottom line. yes another saying i think a big reason this happens are graduations how much the talents make from merch and the low quality of merch there must be more of course of it. course like I, I, I it goes without saying yeah like if somebody's favorite oshi was mr or nina they're they're gone now like yeah sure you might be fans of everybody else um but like you're not as invested. Let's just call it like keep it a book. If my favorite liver retires, I'm not, I mean, I'm a still support, but it's like it's not the same. And then there was of also course. someone that said, I remember buying Selen's hat. The shipping was more than everything else combined. I'd love to buy more merch as an Ian fan, but I can't pay 30 to 40 in shipping every time. Another saying, I hope they aren't trying to insinuate a merge that would legit kill the identity of the Ian branch, just like they did with ID and KR. They were, they're I never going to, they're never going to happen. Yeah, they're never going to do that. That would be yeah. insane. So what? That, that's a reach, bro. I don't, I don't know. Like literally the whole point of that was talking about Ian and JP and like focusing on growing outside of Japan. So like, no, that's not going to, that's not going to happen. Now it's because English is very popular, right? It's, it's like what the number one language in the world. Of course, Ian is going to be, it's not going to be the same as KR or ID or IN. 
English is more popular than these other languages. Now, if these other languages were more popular, then yeah, 100 percent, definitely they would focus on that. But that's not how, how that works. What exactly does this mean for Nichi Sanji? I'm not all too sure. I don't think people are losing interest in Nichi Sanji in. I just think people are losing interest in the merch because of how expensive it is, how low quality it is, and how expensive the shipping has become. But yeah, I agree. I totally agree. They only care about sales. So they think, oh, if sales are down. That means people aren't interested in EN. Negative. It's it's about the product. It's not just the livers. It's what you're selling to us, the fans. I think if Niji Sanji just solved their merch issues, they would definitely make of course. a lot more money of than they course. currently are of course. from Ian fans. Of hundred percent. I don't know my. If I go and buy that that twenty dollar uh, Pomu Rain Puff Fairy Wings, bro. If it's twenty dollars and then I go to checkout and it's like two dollars for shipping, of course. Of course I'm buying the fairy wings, dude. Of course. I might buy some extra shit. Self, but I'm sure it's really easy for them to of fix. Course, of course, of course. As well as how expensive their merch is. Also, I don't think people would really care if their merch was expensive if it wasn't so low quality like those t-shirts we talked about last yeah, year. Yeah, true. The quality is not good. Nobody's going to pay it. Nobody's going to pay for it. I know you all think about that article down below. As that was great. To Nichi Sanji Ian's Kodaka dropped a new song. A brand new cover. If you want oh, to cover. Okay. Out, will be and down. is the cover in Japanese? I see Japanese symbols so like i said nine times out of ten they drop music it's in japanese so it, it can't be oh Ian, ian's not marketing themselves to japan the cover is a japanese song come on so it was also let's go celebrated her birthday also happy birthday rose me related birthday to her Fans happy to happy her birthday, birthday. commission artwork to how's it growing buds times square in new york city uh -huh. with rose okay the rest of this is the news that went on i was really interested on talking about this in particular, everything else with the Niji Sanji Ian news, I'm already aware of because I, I like Niji Sanji, of course, well, the talent. Anyways, that was a great video. I really did enjoy that, man. Shout out to Kyo. Thank you so much for bringing this to my attention. This was amazing. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Let me know what your thoughts are below in the comments. We can talk about it. Anyways, see you guys next time. Peace.